Hi guys, this is Elise and I have a small haul and I also have a project that was inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to share those two things with you. The first thing I got, um, I'm going to share the, the haul that I have. And I got this from Scrap Mart. And um, I picked up some La La Land stamps. And they had them, I think I ordered these like last week and I just got them a couple days ago. And I'm just now able to do um, a video. So um, I picked up just a few of them. And I got the Water Can Marcy, which I think these are so adorable. Got Water Can Marcy. And these come with one, two, um, one, two. They come with two sentiments. Plus the little bumblebee. So that's how it looks on the back. And then I got the Telephone Marcy. She is so adorable. I think this is my favorite one. And this also comes with um, a couple of sentiments. It says, I'm only a phone call away. And then it says, ring, ring. So I got her. And then I got um, Travel Marcy. And it says, life is a journey. So she comes with one uh, sentiment. But she also comes with um, the little map and the little, I think that's like a little passport. Mm -hmm. And then I got the uh, Marcy with lanterns, with lantern. And it says wishing you happiness. And then it also comes with this little string of this little string of lanterns right here. So it's really cute. Super cute. Love that one. And then I got the uh, kimono Marcy. Uh, and this one says Konnichiwa. And there's a little um uh what do you call this little tree? Um mm. oh, gosh, I can't remember what kind of little tree. A bonsai tree, bonsai, thank you. Sorry, a bonsai tree. Got a little bonsai tree right there. So those are the stamps that I got from Stamp Mart. And I'll put the um, the, the um, description in the, I'll put the information in the description down below. So that's what I got. The other thing I got was, or other thing I did, the project that I wanted to share is something that I saw on Pinterest. And I'm going to try to pull the picture up on my computer. I um, was on Pinterest and I came across... Um, a picture of a vintage Rolodex. Well, actually, it's a storage solution that um, this girl, Christy. Christy, um, over at www.theoddgirl.com. She came up with this idea, and she uses it to store some of her small um, acrylic stamps. And I think these are maybe stamps that she, you know, the ones that she uses to color. So let me show you her picture. I'm going to just swing my camera over and then go up right there that's what she did and I'll put the link to her blog in the description down below okay so let me go back down sorry guys I don't want to make you guys dizzy okay and then I'm going to show you what I did oops I went online and I found an Etsy seller um, with vintage Rolodex, um, with a vintage Rolodex, and here's the Rolodex that I found, and um, it's pretty much like the one that Christy has in her picture. I just thought it was just a clever, clever idea, and um, and I don't have a lot of stamps, so this really works for me because I don't have a lot of um, stored space, so I have to be really creative and and make things, um, you know, make it where I can expand, but also make it where it's not taking up too much space. So um, before I had my stamps in, in just a box and that was taking up a lot of space. So now I have them on this Rolodex file. And what I did was I just used the packaging in my Sizzix die and I just cut the um, packaging and, and adhered it to some lightweight chipboard. And I used a tiny, tiny glue dot to stick it on there and they come off pretty easily. So I'm not too worried about that, but eventually I would like to redo this and get some clean mount and cut that clean mount with my um, Sizzix style, my Big Shot, and then I can just, you know, put them on there and won't have to worry about them sticking to the, you know, to the backing so because they'll come off the clean mount, mount really easily. So, so what I did was I just, um, again, I just mounted all of my Magnolia stamps, which are my favorite, on here onto the cards and then in the back I have a couple of um, you know Penny Johnson and um, Sarah Kate stamps in the back those actually stand up a little bit taller and um, <clears throat> but that's the way 
it um, worked. And the thing I like about this, there is room to expand because the back goes up like this. Okay, and so that's as, as small as this Rolodex gets, but then look how wide it gets. You just pull it open, <clears throat> and it opens up this wide. So that is plenty of room for expansion, room to grow, and I like that. So, um, so I, um, you know, I'm not going to alter it in any way. I like the way it looks just as it is. I think something's old, um should just stay the way they are. I may put like a little label right here in the front, and um, but that's about it. But I'm not gonna alter it because certain things I just love the way that they look just in their original original state. So, and this is one of them. So I'm just gonna keep this, and now I can keep it on my desk and I can see my, my um, stamps. And when I get the urge to um, color, I can just, um, you know, I can just, just color. I can, you know, my stamps are right there in front of me. So anyway, so that's my um, Pinterest. Oh gosh, my hands are so, I've been inking guys. Sorry about my hands. My hands look dirty. Um, <clears throat> but that's my, my Pinterest inspired project and I just love it. So thank you, Christy. If you're out there somewhere, thank you for sharing this idea. I think it's very clever. So if you guys have an uh, an old vintage Rolodex and you're looking for a storage solution. I guess it doesn't have to be old, but when you're looking for a storage solution. Go out and get one of these because I just think it's just the neatest thing. And then also, if you're in the market for some La La Land stamps, go check out Scrap Mart because they still may have them on sale. So I will put the links down in the description to everything that I've shown here. And um, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.